Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder on Tuesday called for Governor Jay Nixon to reinstate the curfew for the Ferguson protests. So the curfew was in place for about two days that actually increased the amount of rioting and looting and even peaceful protests and it got people more passionate. So they got rid of the curfew because there shouldn't have been a fucking curfew in the first place. We have this thing called the First Amendment and allows you uh, freedom of speech, freedom to protest, freedom to try to get redress of grievances from the government, and for you to meddle and say, only when I say you can, you can do those things. Well, that means we actually don't have those rights. So step the fuck aside and let people protest when they want to protest, especially when it's super legitimate, like what we're talking about in this situation. Well, uh, Peter Kinder wasn't having that, and he said, reinstate the curfew, Jay Nixon. Now, Kinder is a Republican, and for those of you who don't know, when we talk about a lieutenant governor, that's basically like saying the vice governor, okay? So, like, if something happens to the president, then the vice president becomes president, right? It's the same thing with the governor and the lieutenant governor. If something happens to the governor, the lieutenant governor becomes the governor. So, uh, this is like the second in command, and he's saying, no, bring back that curfew, stop it. Okay, he's a Republican, Jay Nixon is of course a Democrat, and here's what Kinder had to say when making his case. Pay close attention to this and see if you can read between the lines. He says, quote, I don't understand an argument for not reinstating it. I don't understand that. I'm not trying to be overtly political. I am saying the people of Ferguson, the people of the state of Missouri, are crying out for leadership. We do not do justice in America in the streets, we have legal processes that are set in motion that are designed after centuries of Anglo-American jurisprudence tradition. He continues, that's one of the great advances of Anglo-American civilization, is that we do not have politicized trials. We let the justice system work it out. Now, for those of you who don't know, Anglo-American basically means English-American, meaning of European descent, meaning white, white civilization. And what he's saying is, well, uh, come on, guys, we have, for centuries, we've had white jurisprudence and justice. And can't you just sit back and relax as, and let the white people take care of this here? The justice system will work. Just calm down, you rowdy savages, and go inside. You know, abide by the curfew that I'm laying out for you because you're like a child and I'm your parent. Wow, okay. Uh, first of all, to the point that, well, I don't understand an argument for not reinstating the curfew. Really? It's called the Constitution. Look into it. You might want to read it. You might want to read the First Amendment. The very first one would explain to you why you shouldn't have a fucking curfew. Okay, I always find it so funny that the conservative Republicans are always the first to talk about Second Amendment man got a right to guns in all situations ever, or you can't argue against it, it basically comes from God. Tenth Amendment man, states' rights, states have the right to act how they want to act, federal government should butt out. But then, uh, are the other amendments? Oh, protection from unreasonable search and seizure? NSA spying on you? Let them spy. Fuck that amendment, we don't care about that one. Uh, oh, protection from cruel and unusual punishment, the Eighth Amendment. So, you know, torture, Guantanamo Bay, death penalty. No, we love those things. So, fuck that amendment. So, they just pick and choose based off what amendments they personally like. And then they're going to lecture us about law, about Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence. Really? It appears to me like Anglo-Saxon jurisprudence in this respect is your dumbass cherry-picking which things you like and which things you don't like. But then also, I mean... The whole reason for the protests is that the system isn't working. If the justice system was working, you know what would have happened? The police officer who shot the unarmed 18-year-old with his hands in the air running away, that guy would have gotten arrested already. Could you imagine if the roles were reversed? Could you imagine if it was Mike Brown shooting a white guy, older white man with his hands in the air running away? He would have been arrested fucking within the hour. Within the hour. But instead, it's been, what, 10 days? And we, we don't even know, or at least from the last time I checked, which was yesterday, we don't even know where this guy is. He hasn't been arrested. That's why they're protesting. They want change in the community. They want you to demilitarize the police. They want you to have them wear cameras like the Mike Brown Law, which has uh, been proposed on WhiteHouse.gov in uh, the form of a petition. They want the people in Ferguson 
who are 60 to 70 percent African American to be policed by people in Ferguson. You have uh, more white officers that come from out of town and they come into Ferguson to do their job and they're basically an invading army and there's been a history of racist attacks by the Ferguson Police Department including the guy who got his ass beat when it was the wrong guy and then the police department charged him with bleeding on their uniforms they said oh you just did destruction of property so the reason why they're protesting and using their first amendment rights is because the Anglo-American jurisprudence isn't working at all it's the opposite it's broken right now but see, this is the thing, man. We're dealing with we're dealing with a guy in Missouri, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder. He can't break out of his own his own mind. He can't see out of anything other than his own eyes. He's not bothering to even try to walk a mile in the shoes of an African American resident in Ferguson. Okay, he just says, "I'm a white guy. I've had a." Pl a pleasant experiences with the cops, I rose to power within the system, black people should get their shit together, go indoors when I tell you to, listen to us when we tell you, okay, trust the Justice Department even though it hasn't done justice time and time again, okay, what you need to do is be more objective, but then again, maybe this isn't a question about objectivity versus non-objectivity or subjectivity, maybe this is more of a question about Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder is just a racist.